Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day four of the June Nico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's prom. 547, number of provinces. Uh, I'm still here in Irvan, um, in Romania. I'm taking a couple of days off from hiking because <laughs> uh, kind of my, my back is sore. If you kind of notice my, my uh, I've mentioned this before. Uh, I'll probably have some more drone videos in the future. Uh, I'm going to just you know, not have one today, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, number of provinces. So there are N cities, some... Oh yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram uh, to kind of see what I'm up to, or just look at pretty pictures, uh, that would be great. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, N cities, some of them are connected, some are not. If A is B and A is C is connected indirectly, okay. Uh, okay, so yeah. So basically, a province... It's just a connected component, right? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. So province is a connected component, so you just try to find the number of connected components. And of course, you can do this with uh, traditionally breadth of search, depth of search, union find, and etc. Right? Um, I think that is. Uh, do, 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 do. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you can do any of those ways. The the thing that is a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Because here you're given a, an adjacency matrix, which is actually not a format that I'm usually given for whatever reason. This is why I'm giving some pause. Um, I, I honestly, I'm just trying to think whether that in, like, is there uh, a way that you can kind of take advantage of it a little bit more? But I guess that's just part of the part of the input format, right? Because technically, when you do stuff like V plus E and stuff like this, the E part, um, you're given, like, you know, you're given a matrix of all zeros, and that's, at that point, then your your adjacency matrix, which is going to be V square, no matter what, for, so for a sparse graph, it's still going to be V square. So now your, your E part is actually not part of the analysis, right? So it's a little bit awkward, but I think that's still the case. So, so yeah, so you could do this with breath of search, depth of search, whatever. Uh, I'm out there with depth of search. So uh, uh, breath of search, what did I say? I don't know. You should have flip a coin, but today, maybe not so much. So yeah, so let's just get to it then. And yeah, uh, yeah, whatever. Right, so now we set it up, and then, uh, you know, uh, maybe provinces. I was going to write islands for some reason. Uh, if not used of I, um, eh, what do you want to say? Travel, maybe, traverse. Uh, I, and provinces, uh, uh, provinces implement one. And, you know, this is just counting the number of provinces, and of course you do need a traversal thing. Traverse, oh, that's, traverse. Okay, that's why I was like, why does this word look funny? Um, yeah. And then, or start maybe, it doesn't really matter. Uh, right, q.append start, use, boom. And then current is you go to Q dot pop left or pop. It doesn't really matter if you pop left or not, but yeah. And then for I in range of N, if it's connected current I, then um, then yeah, I used I as you would true, right? Oh. And that's pretty much it, really. I think, yeah. Uh, and then we can give a submit. Hopefully I didn't make a silly mistake. And yes, I did not. 1160, and yeah. And that's all I have for today. I mean, I think we've been doing connected components a little, a bunch like recently. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care, bye-bye.